All right, guys, I don't remember the date at all. All right, it's April 27th. It's around six, a little after six, I guess. We saw in the last episode, I found three sheds, missed a nice gobbler, and now we're here trying to roost a bird. I just hit this, oh my gosh, I'm freaking falling apart. I just hit this spot, nothing. So I'm gonna drive back up to where I missed that bird today. There's a ton of birds in there. Hopefully I can roost one. So we're gonna drive up there. Give him a little. And hopefully old Tom wants to bugle. All right, if I see him like I'm off my rock or a little bit, because I am, I, I guess it's because I am. Turkey season, I definitely don't take as seriously as deer season. And it's spring and it's warm and I haven't been warm in two years because I lived in Alaska and I'm just fired up happy to be here birds are chirping I hope <laughs> they were today and I'm just freaking ecstatic is the word ecstatic This is the spot where I heard those birds and then got on them in the last video. There's a hen going nuts and there's like three or four gobblers on the other mountain. If I get near that edge, I, that creek is ripping. I can't hear Birds are going nuts. There's some across the river. And there's some here. And like that mountain is so hard to get on unless you go down and then up because there's private land at the bottom. But there's birds over there. If I don't find anything here, I'm going after them. I don't even care of how bad a hike it is. All right, it's about 8.30 right now. Got dark pretty early because of the overcast. But right now I got this sleeping bag all set up. I'm gonna crash here tonight. I'm right where I heard those birds last. I ended up driving up the road, all that snow melted. On the map, the road takes you all the way up above those birds perfectly, but there's a gate on it. Couldn't get past it. And from where the gate was to the birds is a much farther hike than down and up. So my plan is to go down and up tomorrow. Shouldn't be terrible, honestly. I'd it might be a little rough with a 20 pound gobbler, but I am completely okay with that. Hopefully we can hit them because I'm on a bad streak missing birds. But I'm gonna look at the map, study it, see the quickest way in there, and but it's gonna be an early morning tomorrow, that's for sure. And we will see you then. All right, good morning. It's 3.30? Nope, my phone changed because I got a little service. Because I'm a different time zone from where I live. It is 4.30 first light is supposed to be like 510 but pretty heavy overcast right now some drizzle on the windshield and it's pretty warm out when you have cloud cover at night typically warmer mornings fun fact after I talked to you guys last night I looked on my map and I'm like man there's a road down there it says it's public it's basically a driveway for people but when you get to the dead end there's a road and there's a gate on it and there's like and it said like no parking here it's hard to explain but i'm pretty sure i could park there i'm gonna go down there and look at it i didn't want to park and sleep there last night because there's dogs there and people live like right there so i'm gonna drive down there and it saves me bushwhacking down over this hill so then i just have to cross the creek and go up not too bad for quite a few birds over there i'm freaking stoked this morning <coughs> Freaking humid and hot right now. Let's go get on him. 
see what happens. Because he could be able to see me depending how high he is. 
Ooh, here he comes. He's rolling right down to me. He's rolling down. God, what a beautiful morning. Are you done, bud? I'm gonna get him tagged up. And I'm gonna get over here where it's a little better scenery for some video. Here we go. Got an Idaho turkey. My first turkey in two years. Because I lived in Alaska last year. To me, this looks like an Eastern, but it could be a Rio. I hear they're pretty similar, but it's definitely not a Merriam's. This is the... This is the first non merriams that I've seen here. And there is a bird fired up everywhere. Man, that fog just clear. Look how beautiful this view is. It looks like three fourth inch spurs, so he's a two year old. Man, I've been hunting hard. Not, not so much yesterday. The previous video that I uploaded where I missed that bird, the second bird, I got up at like six or five and got up here. But it took me a little bit and then I got on some turkeys yesterday on that mountain behind me. That's where I have been hunting on, uh, on that side. Yeah, I got one fired up, got on them and missed them. It was a pretty textbook turkey hunt and it, I don't know what happened. But I hunted there yesterday and last weekend on that mountain. And I just hear birds on this mountain just going nuts all the time and I'm like, I really don't want to hike down and then straight up this because it's just there's birds over there I don't have to do that so like yesterday I spent a good majority of my time trying to find access I don't you might have seen it in some video clips but there's a town right here and there's private all below me right here and you like can't get up in here and you can't get up here because it's private as well you have to like go up and then go over a mountain and come and get here but I found one of the roads in the town is a dead end and it goes right to public land. So I parked there and I climbed right up in here. I heard at least three or four birds on this mountain, I swear, yesterday. And I get up in here and I thought they were over there farther. I wanted to really make sure I got above some birds. And I did, I got pretty high above this bird. I was lucky to hear them because it is so hard to hear these birds if they're on the same mountain as you unless they're pretty close. It's very, very thick with pines in here and underbrush. But luckily this is an old clear cut and I could hear this bird from probably two or 300 yards and I closed the distance. I could tell from his gobble he wasn't moving. I'm like, this bird hasn't flown down and it's decently open in here. So I didn't want to close the distance any farther. Watched him pitch down, got right above him. I could tell he was looking for me, but he was being smart and just using the terrain to his advantage. He literally walked right up through here and I was over there. So this makes a little roll right here on this little point. And I was just on the other side. He passed me and got up there and was just strutting, spitting and drumming. So I couldn't do anything. So I kind of just bailed the camera and there was a big pine tree. I was like, I'm gonna get up to that pine tree and just try to cluck him in so I, so I can see his head get over and then get him. Took a while, but I made him mad enough to come looking for me. Man, he was just up there spitting and drumming. That was so cool. Like, I haven't heard that too much back home, the spitting and drumming. Every bird I've had within like 50 yards is drum spitting and drummed here, so that is cool. And there are so many turkeys. I am listening to so many turkeys right now. They're gobbling right where I missed them yesterday. This is very cool, man. I freaking missed hunting turkeys in Idaho. Man, this place is unbelievable. How many turkeys are here? Another thing, I'd like to uh, dedicate this turkey to my friend Coy Donahue. He actually made these calls. I actually filmed Coy shoot his first deer with a recurve last fall. And uh, 
man, right after that, probably begin late October, early November, Koi got COVID really bad. Koi is a lot like me. He's just super, super avid in the outdoors, has a huge passion for turkey hunting, deer hunting, and he got COVID really bad, and I'm getting like COVID pneumonia or something. I apologize if that's wrong. And Koi wasn't able to hunt deer season, and he's still out of commission now. I think he's doing a little bit of fishing, but, but he really can't walk around or anything. It really took a freaking toll on him. And I can't imagine being in his place. I feel so bad for him because I know turkey season is like his favorite thing ever, and he probably won't be able to get out too much. So Koi, this one's for you, man. Can't wait to call you and tell you about the hunt. And uh, man, I'm just so thankful. So Koi just started making these calls. Uh, they're called Beyond the Laurel. Uh, that's the name of his YouTube as well. But I'm gonna put his Instagram into the description. Shoot him a message on Instagram or Facebook, Koi Donahue, and, and see if he'll get you some calls. He's just started making them because he's just been stuck inside and can't really do much. So yeah, Koi, this one's for you, man. Just a beautiful bird. Beautiful morning here in Idaho. I'm so thankful. Man, I'm gonna have to look into getting another tag or Montana tag. <laughs> that was so fun. So right there is where I roosted these birds from. And now we got one. Alright, I got them all cleaned up. I ended up seeing a few elk over here. Those are the first elk that I've seen up here. I couldn't get any film of them because it's so thick and this fog rolled in, but now I gotta figure out how to get this bird out. It's gonna be a treat. Because I carry a tripod, a heavier camera, a gun, and now a bird. I think I'm gonna throw the bird back here so I can have free hands to catch my falls. That's gonna do just fine. Shots, you didn't have to cross back over to get the camera. It's all cinematography. You gotta just get the shots, man. Thank you guys for following along with the videos. It's been a blast making these turkey videos. But I don't know what's next. I haven't looked into getting a second tag in Idaho. I don't know if I can. But I can definitely get a Montana tag and that'd be a shorter drive than where I'm already coming here, so. Maybe future turkey videos, maybe some shed videos, maybe both at the same time like we've been doing. So, <laughs> But I thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate the support. Coming up on 10 years on Hardway Outdoors uh, in December. It'll be 10 years doing this. And I cannot thank you guys enough for the positive feedback, growth, and just how many great people I've met through doing YouTube. So, But if you guys want to pick up a t-shirt, the link will be right here for that. I got some buck trout hoodies, t-shirts, and other designs as well for kids, men, and women. And if you want to subscribe, that'll be over here. And a video will be up here if you want to check out a different video. So thank you guys for watching.